Hi, I'm Amanda Troop. <laughs> uh, welcome to Ripley Improv's Wasteland. And you know, it's like tough being a teenager, like really tough. You feel different, but you don't know why. And then you're like called upon to save the world, but then your crush doesn't even know you're there. There's just so much, you know? Anyway, we need your help. We need a suggestion to start our fully improvised play in the style of young adult teen fiction. And the suggestion that we need is location, any location. Just type it in the chat and, you know, like let us know where we should start our show. Each show is different, which is crazy, right? <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm talking about most of the time, which works. You know, my mom said that I talk a lot, but I was like, no, I don't. And then I talked for like 30 minutes straight. And I said, oh, my voice is like really raspy from all of that. So then I took a big drink of water. Oh wait, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it right now. Oh man, it's hard to wait. I really wanna know what our location is. What? <laughs> um, I don't understand. Can you repeat that? Okay, so like this voice in my head is telling me that we're gonna be in an amusement park and I am stoked. Yeah, jazzed. That's what teenagers say, right? Jazzed? Okay, here's Wasteland Amusement Park. Bye. They told me to come to the amusement park at 9 p.m. and it's now 9.30. It's, it's really dark. It's not open. Why did I think it was gonna be open? I can see the Ferris wheel over there with the lights turned off. You can almost smell cotton candy, just like a wisp of it on the wind, but maybe I'm just imagining things. At night without anything on, it's just, dark and kind of spooky and <laughs> I bought I bought a ticket I bought the premium ticket because I thought <sighs> I thought those girls were finally gonna let me just join them and be with them and hang out and I spent two months worth of my allowance on this and I've been rubbing it for the past week, just in anticipation of a Saturday night out with friends. And <laughs> I think I rubbed some of the numbers off on it. Maybe it's not even usable anymore when the car, when the amusement park opens again. I kind of tore it too. And I taped it back together. And I used washi tape with this cute little koala on it. <sighs> it's my favorite, favorite animal. And I came here dressed in my best denim jacket so I could get in and there's just, there's no one here. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Maybe, maybe they gave me the wrong day though, you know? <sighs> it's, it must be the wrong day. I'm gonna have to go home and check and just make sure that I bought the wrong day and maybe they'll refund my money for me. I just, I honestly thought Darby would show, you know? Like I thought Darby would be here when we told her in school that we were gonna meet at the top of the amusement park. I thought she knew where to meet us. We said 10.30 PM, right? Yes, 10.30 PM, we were very explicit, 10.30. I mean, like, 
probably because after you initially said 10.30, then you said 9, and then you said 9.30, and then you said 10.30 again, so. Oh, no. Oh, no. I said 10.30 and then 9.30. I wonder if she came really early and we missed her. It's entirely oh. possible. Also, um, you told her to meet us behind the amusement park in the old empty warehouse, and then you told her, no, wait, meet us at the top of the hill. Oh no, poor Darby. Uh, you yeah. should have told me, Gabby. You should well, have told me. You know what? I don't like arguing with you. That was so scary to say. Please don't get mad. Mad? Why would I get mad? Well, I am a little mad. I'm mad at myself. I just wish oh. Darby were here. We were gonna show her so many neat things. I know. Gabby. What? I think Darby is like, so, so interesting. Don't you? Well, I don't know, Nina. I barely know her. I, I will say, <laughs> I love how she always raises her hand in class because then I never have to. <sighs> I also love that she like runs to the lunchroom every day to be first in line. She's like not afraid of, you know, getting her own way. Oh, I also love that one time um, she pushed Nathan right into the lockers when he advanced on her in a really unsavory way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all those things. I like all those things about her too, Gabby. Like Darby, since she came to our school, she made everything so much better, you know? And it's weird to say that because I wanted to be the most interesting. And I was, but I'm not now. And I'm like into it. Are you sure you're into it? And you're not just like a little bit jealous? Cause you mention it a lot. You talk about it a, a lot. Listen, I'm sorry I said that. I don't want to make you mad. Listen, I don't. Gabby, I said I'm into it. I like Darby, and yeah, I like her because, uh, you know, a lot of the guys like her, and I like some of them, but no, no, I'm okay with it. I'm practicing being diplomatic. You are the most diplomatic kid at our school. Everyone says so when I ask them. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Anyway, we should probably go to her house and like throw rocks at her window to like make sure that she knows that we still think she's okay. Hey. Hey. What? I can hear you. I can see you. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Do you know, is it going to open today? The park? Yeah. <laughs> it's been closed for a long time. When it opens, there'll be a big to do. <laughs> that is. Oh, that's so frustrating. I, I, look, I'm new to this town and I don't, someone sold me a ticket for this place. This is like, this is called Farley's World, right? Yeah, Farley's World. Well, someone sold me a ticket for like $57, a premium ticket, and it's not even open? Ah, oh, that's, that is some bad shit right there. What made you want to come to Farley's world? <laughs> I thought I could make some friends here, you know? It turns out I'm the one who's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Darby! Oh! You're here! My, 
Nina? Yeah. I, I was looking for you. We were up behind the amusement park and I realized sometimes my directions are a little whimsical. You know, that's how I put it. They're a little <laughs> whimsical. Um, but we totally wanted to meet you and here you are oh. in like, a weird place. Oh, God, I knew it was me. I knew I was one who messed up again. I'm just, I'm so bad at like, being like a cool girl, being friends with everyone. And uh, God, I'm so glad I found you. Um, yeah, let's hang out. Hey, hey, sorry, man. Uh, I didn't. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm interrupting. Nina uh, and Gabby, I suppose. Why are you all looking at me? Weird. Um. Where'd she go? Harley's world. Anything can happen here. No. <laughs> hey, dude, look. My friend Nina was just here and we were just gonna, we were about to be best friends. What, ha what happened to her? Weren't you the one telling me that you didn't have any friends? Yeah. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to make friends. Who are you? What are you doing standing in front of this abandoned amusement park anyway? I'm Mr. Farley. Oh. Hello. I, sorry, I didn't, I didn't know you were the Mr. Farley. It's all right. You were right when you said you have no friends. Do you know that? Well, I mean, I know that. It's kind of rude when you say it, but. It's just a fact. Gabrielle, it's just a fact. Your friends call me Darby. Oh. Well, your real name is Gabrielle. How did you know that? Because that, that other one, that thing, its name is Gabby. What? You what? said it yourself, you don't have any friends, that thing that Gabby, that Nina, whatever else you were just talking about, I'm the only real thing in front of you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What, what do you mean the only real thing? I came into this town like a month ago and I've been living here all this time. What do you mean real thing, Mr. Farley? Yo, 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 where am I? What just happened? I was just with a group of people. What's your name? Who are you? My, my name. I don't, I don't remember my name. No, no, you have a name. My name's Darby. I'm Darby. That's my name. Darby. Darby, I've never even met you. I know. I'm just trying to 
figure out what is going on. Mr. Farley! Sorry, Who's Farley. I, I could explain everything that's going on between you and this young gentleman here. His name is Donald. Donald? My Donald? Yes, that's your name. Damn. Donald's language. Sorry, Farley. Ah, Donald catches on quickly, Gabrielle. I'm not apologizing to you. What is this weird place? And you took my newest friend away and you're just messing with everyone here. Would you, would you stop yelling at me? Hey, hey, that's no way to talk to a lady. That's right, Donald. That's right, Donald. You know what? The two of you can figure this place out on your own. Best of luck. Wait, Wait no, no, no. Wait. Guys, he just disappeared too. I don't understand. I look away and these people just disappear all of a sudden and appear. Donald, where were you just now? You just suddenly appeared here in this weird abandoned place. No, no, no. I've been here. Were you not here before? Were you here? Well, I know, I- just, My mind is going. I just had dinner with my mom like an hour ago. We had fish sticks on rice with tomato sauce. And I came here after I rode my bike here. Oh my God! Wait, Nina! Nina! Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Y'all yeah. know each other? You know, bro, are you okay? I was, I was calling. You couldn't hear me? I was calling for you. So glad to be back in school. You know, last night was just really, really epically weird and different. And like, you know, Darby, I think you're really interesting, but like that was honestly way too interesting, you know? Like, I like interesting things. I like to be interesting. Um, but like that was more like I was in a void. I was in a void. Darby, I mean, seriously, I was just in a, Darby, can you even hear me right now? You look like you're daydreaming, like you're just drifting off. Darby, Darby, can you hear me? Like last night was super weird, you know? Darby, 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 Darby. No, it's happening again, it's happening again. No, I don't want it. I want to be back in the chemistry lab. God, where am I going? God damn. No, 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 Mr. Farley, you can't do this to me again. I... Where are you going is always a valid question. I don't know. I, after last night, I just woke up in my bed and I don't know what happened. What? And I was just in class right now. Where am I going? Why do I keep popping back and forth between places? Is it possible that you're always every place? What? Oh, you're here. No, no. no. This is not okay. I, I you see. need to tell me what's going on and who you are. Where are we? I see you've met Miss Merelda. What are you?
happy. Finally. Where am I? Weren't we just in um, amusement park? Uh, what's happening to me? Oh, we're here, we're here, we're here. Hold on, just hold my hand, okay? Just Sorry. hold my hand for a second. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. No. I mean, we're strangers, but I feel like you and I, at least we're connected in this weird way. I, and you, your hand feels real. It's the what first- What keeps happening? I don't, I don't know. There's this weird Mr. Farley that's blasting us from like place to place. I don't know if it's real or not, but you're here. Do you, do you remember anything about yourself? <laughs> the last thing that I remember is Uh, never mind. Um, no, no, D Donald, please tell me. I want to know. The, the last thing I remember was um, making a deal on the street, and then I just I disappeared. It was black all around me, and then all of a sudden I was in an amusement park, and then all of a sudden I'm in this brick room. Making a deal. Uh, what? What kind of deal? Uh, I don't remember. Donald is okay. Whatever it was, I'm not gonna judge you for it. Darby, I don't know you, okay? Get off my back. Hey, you know what? You and me are the only ones in this godforsaken place in this white room with no doors and no exits. So if we want to figure out what's going on, you're going to have to be honest with me. It's not working. Well, it's barely been any time. Give yourself a break, Farley. I can't focus. I can't seem to keep them in one place experiencing one thing that would be fun. Well, it is such a burden trying to do the good you do. Oh, Farley, tell me again how it feels when it works. Morel, it feels, it feels as, as though you're falling in love over and over again, all at the same time, a thousand different loves all at once. It feels as though you're at the top of a roller coaster and your hands are in the air and you're just about to start the plummet downhill and you're, you're in that moment and you're stuck in that moment. And if I, if I could get, if I could get others to feel that feeling, Ms. Merelda, if I could get Gabriella or, or Donald to feel that feeling, they wouldn't need any friends. They wouldn't need anybody. They wouldn't need family. They, they would just throw their hands up and they would be happy. What a burden it is to be such an empath. Oh, Farley. You are a gift to others and a curse to yourself. Just tell me it will work someday, Miss Morelda. Tell me that if I can focus, I, I need to do more meditations. I, I, I'll switch it to 12 hours a day rather than just uh, 11. And, and tell me it will work, Miss Morelda.
I've been on this hill forever. I'm sorry. I I got my my times mixed up again. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Hey. I just, you yeah. got your times mixed up. Every everything is mixed up. You told me to be here at 5 p.m. and I was here at 5 p.m. Nothing sits still and nothing stays the same. And I just need you to be there at a certain time when you say you're going to be there. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, Darby. I have to tell you something. The reason why my times get mixed up and the reason why you're so interesting is I've been slipping in and out, whatever this is, for months now. I think a lot of us in this town have been. What? Yeah. But it, there's something about you that just feels like you're constant. You know? Like, you've been on time every single time I've asked to meet you. And like, you even bought your own ticket. There's just something about you that's steady and you seem so confident. I feel like if you slipped in and out, you'd always find your way back. And I've been terrified. I need someone like you. No, I... I... It's, it's just really nice to have you validate what's been going. Nina? No, 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 Nina! 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 No! I, I had you for a second. Come from Clary. I don't. I don't know. Do you remember anything about what you was doing before this? Uh, I was buying a ticket. I was buying a ticket to a theme park. That's what I, I, I was. I'm too young to go to a theme park, but I thought maybe if I buy a ticket, that they won't notice that I'm young because I'm tall. Yeah. Yeah. You're tall, Clary. Thanks. Look. Um. Did your parents know that you were here? Did anyone? No, I, I knew that if I told anyone that I was coming to buy a ticket, they would stop me and I, and I didn't want to get stopped. I, everybody wants to go to Farley's theme park. What? Okay. Clary, look, uh, I don't know. I don't know where we are right now, but just stay calm. We're gonna figure out a way out of this. Donald, Donald, there you are. Yes. I made it. I made it here. I just, I think, I think I'm trying to figuring out what's going on. Calm down. This is Clary. Hi, Clary. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Darby. This is Donald. You're Clary. We're all in this together. We've been flickering in and out of time and reality and space. And there's some sort of crazy mastermind at the head of it. But I figured out that. It's happening to everyone in this town. So I'm, Donald, I focused on you. I focused on you and I remember how it felt when I held your hand and I could smell your hair and just the feel of your palm against mine. And I was here. I was able to get here. And I... Oh no, it's happening again. No, 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 no. Oh, hold no. my hand, hold my hand. Uh, Clary. No. Everybody, if we hold hands. Oh no! No! I'm trying! I'm trying! Woo! Donald, I got 
got you. I got you. The two of us, I... We There's got... something different about you. I can't move anywhere in here, but you were able to focus on me and get to me. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Are you in on this? No! No, God, no. I just... I just... <laughs> I just cling to things, you know? And I think that's what I'm able to hold on to something so, so tightly, like a koala holds onto a tree. They just, I think of you and I see you in my head so clearly. Can you see me? Donald, look at me. Do you see me? Darby? I can feel your hand, but I can't see you. Donald, I'm right here. Donald, I'm right here. Darby. No, I'm right here! Just look at me. Darby? Oh, God. My dear, oh Farley, could it be, could it be that you are experiencing resistance? It has to be. Oh. My cigarette fell into oblivion. Oh, now what? Not again, and I don't have any others to spot you. Miss Meralda, I, I've never felt resistance to my plan, to who, who would resist this feeling? Who would? Oh, who? Farley. Oh, what is it? It's quite amazing. What do you sense? Can you believe it? Well, the, tap me into your senses. What is it? Oh my, what a delight. Oh, it's astonishing. I can't believe I thought of it. Oh, how surprising. What an interesting new thought I'm having a new bit of information. Oh, tell me, what is it? What, what? Oh, it's so glorious. You can't imagine. Just like a light bulb. How fantastic. First I didn't know, and now I know. Oh, what a thing. What a thing it is. Realization. Realization. That's what I need. I need a realization. Uh, uh, uh. Would you like me to share it with you, Farley? Yes, please. Oh, why didn't you say so? My dear, it's another Just, Darby, keep focusing. Focus hard. You can do it. Just think, 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 think. Remember the feeling of their hands. Try harder. You've been doing this for hours now. You can do this. You can find them. Whoa. You Oh my god, yes, 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 you're not one that was 
That, way, that is all before, right? Cl Clary? It, it, Clary, yeah, this Clary. is the firmest ground I've ever put my feet on. Yes, that's right. Do you feel the waves? Feel the waves, smell the salt air, and hear the eagles, or some seagulls crying. Eagles, and I hear e beach eagles. Yes. Ah, you know, you're here, you're here. Yes, hold hands, quick, grab hands, grab hands, grab hands. <laughs> You got each other? Yes, yes, hold her. You. Look at me, do you, are you looking at me? Look, look at my hair, remember my eyes. Smell my hand, just, yes. Do you recall what it is to be connected with someone else? Do you feel that? Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Oh. Nina, I remember the first time I saw you. You were in the lunchroom and you were standing up there and you were clanging your tray against each other and you were just yelling out to everyone that your parents finally got divorced. And I was like, wow, she's so brave to say that. And that was an amazing, amazing memory that I remember so clearly about you. And uh, I, I remember when you first walked into class and how you had that flannel tied around your waist and it looked so effortlessly cool. <laughs> I wish I could be effortlessly cool. I have to try so hard all the time. <laughs> yes, remem remember those memories, okay? Don't let go of it. And Clary, when I first saw you, you you were so, you looked really tall to me. You just have this bearing about you where you just look huge, even though maybe you're not as huge as one would think. And I think, you know, there's that smell. You smell like Johnson and Johnson's baby shampoo. And uh, I look at you and I smell it. <laughs> That's still what I use, e even though I'm I'm nine years old. I I still use Johnson. Um, I I have this friend. Um, mm -hmm. his name is Joey, and um, he's also nine years old. And um, we're best buds. He let me ride on the back of his um BMX bike, and he was really cool. And um, I think I think he, I just I'm trying to remember him. Remember, remember. What what did his hair his hair look like? Uh, it was chestnut. It was it had this like red flame to it, and and um he spoke kind of in a high pitched voice, even though he's nine years old too. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 That's him. That's him right there. No, oh, that's him. Joey, grab his, grab his hand. Here we go. Okay, Joey, you're with us now. Have you been wandering lost throughout time and space too? Yes, I was just on a farm, and then before that, I, I was in, a, I was in, a, I was in a school. Yeah, yeah. I well, think how are you doing this? You're keeping us all here. It's just you gotta hold on to something super tight. I mean, I, I think it's just it's just me and my mom, and I remember her, and I think about her, and I, it, it's what grounds me. And looking at you, Nina, I remembered you and I brought you here too. So we just gotta keep bringing people here and keep remembering them, okay? But where is here? We're on some beach somewhere. Don't you wanna go home? I, I do. To your mom? I do, but I don't wanna lose you guys either. I, I don't know how many souls are wandering around this forsaken place. So, Let's just try and hold each other for a little bit longer and we'll try and focus on getting home next, okay? Okay. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, look, it's Donald. Donald! Donald, what, what's the matter? I remember everything now. I remember everything about you, Darby. What? You're the reason why we're all here.
Yes. Yes, me. Yes, me. I've lost complete control of the entire amusement park. It's finally happened. What do you mean it's finally happened? Oh, a greater force has arrived. You don't mean that one, that one little girl, the little girl who was the inspiration for the entire park. Yes. That's right. Donald, I Don't took us here. Me. I took us here because I wanted us to have a different place. What do you mean it's my fault? You don't remember anything about wanting friends so badly that you sell the souls of yourself and all of us just to get here, just to get to somewhere that you could be happy forever. I didn't like make, I didn't do any crazy wish. I just, I wished it, but I mean like, it's just like you were sitting on a hill somewhere throwing pebbles into a canyon and you make a wish that you don't think means anything. It didn't mean anything. It was just a wish into like the universe and it wasn't real. The universe is real. The universe listens. The, the universe will listen to what you say. No, no, it's, I, no, I just remember I was sitting against that big oak tree on the top of that hill and I threw some stone off and I just said, I wish I had friends. I'd give everything I had if I could have friends. Oh my God. And then you were at an amusement park, an old amusement park and suddenly we were all there too. Oh my god. Did I do this to you? I don't know. I... I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I... I didn't... I didn't... I didn't want to do this to you. Cleary, you live on my block. I remember you now. Yeah. I live in the big blue house. Yeah. And that's great. Like, I never even looked at you twice at school. I'm popular. I, why did I find you so interesting? You put those words in my head. You wanted, you wanted me to accept you. I didn't want, I didn't want it like this. I didn't, I didn't. I'm so sorry. And Donald, you like Donald. I graduated two years ago, and she always had a crush on me. I remember now. I go by Dawn, by the way. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean for any of this to happen to you. I, Mr. Farley, Mr. Farley, Ms. Meralda. I don't want that wish. Take it back. But you threw something at me from on top of a hill next to the big oak tree. It was your idea. Friends, amusement. No, no, not this way. Not this way. What way is there? What way is there but but the colossal jo oh look oh fantastic what way is there but the colossal joy of being on top on the very 
pinnacle of excitement headed down. What other way is there? Hmm? No, I don't want this. I don't want friends at the cost of them and their lives. I'm, I'm going to throw myself into oblivion. If I do that, no, no, we'll no. return everyone back to where they came from. It, it, it Look, would, but, but Bobby, it, we don't it, want you to do that. We destroys the whole theme park if you do it. I threw one cigarette into oblivion and I had to go back to the real world to get this one. No, no, Darby. no, no. Darby, listen, there's gotta be another way. You know, like, I, if you do that, we don't know what's gonna happen to you. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna risk your lives and keep you in this crazy loop where you can't be staying in one time or place. Well, I brought you into this mess and I'm gonna fix it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw myself in oblivion. And I, I, I only pray that this will return you back to your rightful places. All Darby, if you're gonna go into oblivion, I'm gonna go with you. No! Come on. No. What do you say, Clary? What do you say, tall nine-year-old? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm already next to the edge of oblivion. And and what about you, friend? I'm Joey, and I'll go anywhere Clary goes. And Don? What about you, Don? I had a good life before all this. But be truthful, I always kind of liked you too. Look, Darby, I'll go with you. I've ever wanted to have people who cared about me who want to be my friends but I'm not you know I want you all to stay safe so I'm just gonna no 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 no, no Darby no, no. Wait. Oh. somebody do something what's happening in the world what's happening the amusement park on outside of town and we're all here what what just happened we're all here and you're real you guys are real i can feel you i can see you and you're not disappearing yeah i'm real i'm i'm a person <laughs> oh my god what, what
what else would we be? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're friends? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we're friends. Wow. Which... <laughs> um, Lucky day this is for us, Clary. <laughs> yeah, Joey, it sure is. I may look like a 12 year old, but I'm only nine. I'm just tall. Yeah. You guys, we gotta get them back to their parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys want? Do you guys want to like get burgers before Ooh. we go home? <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. After everything. Burgers. <laughs> we love okay. burgers. Come on, Joey. Um. Yeah. Uh, maybe. We could get burgers and um, after we drop off the kids, we could, uh, I don't know, go. Um, there's this one place, it's uh, it's like a, a hill with a, I don't know, beautiful tree. And if you wanted to sit there with me for a little while. I mean, yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> 